What is up guys, Pie Muffin here, and we are back with another Tales of the Rays video. So, I know I am, what is it, two or three days late to covering this. Uh, like I mentioned in previous videos, I've been crazy getting ready to move. I am moving on Monday, so I really haven't had a lot of time to just kind of sit down and record. And then also my, uh, the, like, USB to HDMI cord that I was using, I somehow lost it in uh the process of this move so i had to go buy another one so that's why i'm kind of late to this video but let's go over everything that's going on with the current rays festival obviously any summons i would have done i have already done um and we'll talk about what i ended up getting from that as well as what you can do from this in case you've been uh not summoning uh doing all the free pulls and all that whatnot so let's start over with the banner. Obviously, this race festival is the one. It's the siblings themed one. I guess you could say siblings. It applies for most of them, I would say. Um, obviously, we have a banner for... Well, I, we have one banner for everybody. Obviously, down here, if you're a free-to-play player, you can summon down here. But we have uh, crossover mirror darts for Ludger and Julius, Luke and Ash, and then uh, Leon and Rudy. The one that's kind of like... Not really siblings, but also kind of is, uh, is Luke and Ash. Like, it, it's very, you can make an argument for both ways that they are brothers and that they aren't brothers. But, obviously, I won't go too deep into that for people who, uh, have not played Abyss. Um, we also do have another new step up here. Uh, we have a banner, right? Uh, wait, is this the one? Or was it this one? Oh, no, yeah, it was this one. Okay. So, we obviously did have this one, which had crossover mirror jarts and ending mirror jarts. But now we also have a banner for decisive mirror jarts and overrays. You can do the first two steps with free currency. Uh, step one is a, a normal multi-rates. And then step two has a 10% chance. And then, of course, the percentages go up the more steps you do if you decide to spend some money on it. From this, I actually did get a little bit lucky. I got Dohalim's Decisive Mirror Jart, and then I got the Overray for, uh... Who did I get the Overray for? I just want to quickly go over, like, what stuff I actually ended up walking away with. Um... Let me see. Who was it? I'm just trying to, like, think off the top of my head before, uh, scrolling down, but, uh... Who was it on here? I would have loved to have gotten Jude's over it. I still really, really want that. But, um... All I remember is that it was an over it. I just can't remember who... Oh, it, it was... Ironically enough, it was for Julius. I got Julius's uh, over it for his... Uh, for his Chromatis. So, I... My first step... By the way, these are all five stars. If you don't pull a mirror chart, every other uh, unit in the multi will be a five star. So, this... Banner does have high value, even if you're just a free-to-play player doing the first two steps of all these. I think there will be a third banner. Um, I remember last year they had, like, they had a normal banner. Then they had one for, like, Decisive Mirror Jarts and Overrays. And then I think they had one for Spirit Gear, so they might still do a Spirit Gear one. I'm not, I wouldn't, like, super recommend summoning specifically for Spirit Gears. But like I said, you get all five stars at least. Um... So, I do think it's worth, at least with these two, I would do the, so it's like, I think it's like 150 for step one, and then uh, 200 for step two. So, 350 diamonds, you get two multis. So, I do think it's pretty useful to do these. So, I definitely recommend players doing the first two steps, especially if you're missing a lot of stuff, if you're a newer player. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say with that. Uh, obviously, we are still getting our daily free summons. This will still go on for another 20 days. Uh, if you've been logging in and doing this every day since the anniversary started, you will have gotten to do two of your sets of six mirror dart pulls, which is basically you get a ticket every time you do this per day. And then when you have six of those tickets, you can use it for a ticket summon down here uh, to do a... Uh, you get six mirror, six uh, random mirror darts from the banner pool. So, very, very cool there. And then, of course, because it's a raise festival, the banner up here, you get a free multi every day on this one as well. This is the first time a raise festival banner doesn't really have any value for me because I believe, unless I'm mistaken, I think I have every duo mirror dart on here. So, Ix and Melina, I have. Yes. Alpha and Crest, yes. 
Uh, Estelle Philia, yes. Okay, no. Um, okay, yeah. So the only one I don't have is Rokuro Shigure. Uh, all the other ones I do have because obviously you've got the the three that we got for uh, the first set of the Arise uh, Duo Mirror Charts. So I have all three of those. Uh, Rokuro Shigure I don't have, and then I've pulled Ixa Molina's uh, a number of times. So this banner isn't as super useful to me as they usually are when I skip out on a bunch of Duo Mirror Darts, but uh, yeah. Um, and then you, of course, also get a free multi on this banner because we are an anniversary time. time. Normally you would not get a free multi on this banner, um, but because it's anniversary, you kind of luck out. And I actually did pull Luke and Ashes. Uh, from my free multi, so I do have that for this current event. But that's pretty much it for the banners themselves. Now let's go over to the event itself and go over what you kind of have to do for this. Which is not anything too crazy. It's like your usual race festival. We have a voting theme. You choose what you want to vote for. Uh, and then we'll get rewards at the end of everything. By the way, the second set of the uh, series quests is about to be over. Uh, during reset tomorrow, so we'll get the next set of that. Of course, we still have the daily mission we could do here. This will also kind of reset in 14 hours. Uh, but let's go over the actual normal event part. Looks like this event ends, what does it end? On the 19th? So basically the 20th is when this ends, so nine days from now. Uh, let's just, it's just, there's a few stages to do for farming, and then you can exchange for various uh, stuff in here, so... There, I think there were eight of these tickets. These are just normal summon tickets uh, for the characters involved in the event. And then I've I've been exchanging the presents. And that's pretty much all they really have in here. Surprisingly, no seasonal ticket or anything like that. Uh, this is pretty much all you have in here. You have some more presents you can get and stuff like that. So uh, just something to farm every day. It's nice to have. Uh, but yeah, there's only three stages with this. And then, of course, we have the actual event that has to do with the voting. So you can select three, you can select two, you can select only one if you want all your points to go towards a specific thing. They're just, uh, I guess it's, you know, what your favorite thing is kind of like in the Tales series. Um, obviously you can see the voting right now. The whole theme of Ifrit is of course winning by a landslide. I don't know what this actually means that we're gonna get rewards wise. The last one was uh, Tales of Food. And then we ended up getting food items that ended up being gifts you could give to your character. So we'll have to see what this ends up being with this. It's probably going to be a similar thing. We'll probably just get food items or, like, gift items we can give to our characters. Although, I would be really happy to have, like, Wonder Chef as, like, maybe a Prism Shop playable character. Or give us Ifreed. I don't know which Ifreed they'd give us. I mean, most likely just the uh, Berseria version since he has, like, a full design and is actually part of the story. So if we did get a playable Ifreed, that'd probably be the one we would get. Um, but yeah, so pretty much the same thing with the usual Raids Festival. Every day there will be new missions you can select when you're uh, hopping into the stage. And you can select which kind of, uh, I guess, limitations you want to put on yourself to get higher points. I've already done it for today, so I got the max number of points. Uh, and then, of course, you have rewards you can get with this. Let's see if there's anything crazy. It should just be a Mirror Jar ticket. Yep. A select mirror jar ticket at 20,000, and I believe it's for the six characters involved in this event. So that'd be Ludger, Julius, Leon, Rudy, and then Luke and Ash. So not really anything useful to me because all their normal mirror jars I do have. So, uh, but it is nice to have these. You also get these uh, other tickets, uh, the volume nine tickets. When you have three of these, you can do a summon with it where the, I think you get like four five items in the multi like you use three tickets you get five uh weapons essentially and each weapon is i don't know if it's guaranteed to be four star but i always get four stars um but it's a i think it's a 20 percent chance to be a mirror jar for each unit in that pull so you have a very high chance to get mirror jars for the six characters involved in everything i do kind of miss the normal voting pattern though because we we would have a chance with these tickets to get stuff for the next set of voting characters so it would be characters i might not have a lot of stuff for but these six characters specifically i have at least three mirror jars for all six of them so they aren't characters that are really hurting uh in any regard we'll go ahead and do this stage though just to kind of show what my method for doing this thing is my biggest piece of advice with this use characters that have spirit gears because pretty much each day you do this 
then you're going to go farm the normal stages with the same characters. If you're using spirit gears, the limitations aren't as bad because you can activate the spirit gears right from the beginning of the match. So having a lower mirage gauge or not being able to use physical attacks, some limitations like that won't matter if you can just spam spirit gears to uh, end the fight. But let's go ahead and do it, and I'll show you pretty much <laughs> the easy way. It won't always work for the higher stuff because they'll get tankier and tankier, but um, at least for these early stages, it's a lot easier. Yep, just pretty much uh, spam what you can. When I did it earlier today, I only had to use three of the four spirit gears to kind of finish everybody off. Obviously, it has to do with uh, placement as well, making sure you're hitting everybody, and there you go. That's everything. Obviously, same score because I've already done it for today. And then you get your points, and whatever rewards you get, you just go ahead and grab them. Uh, usually, depending on the requirements you get, there will be missions to kind of grab uh, that will give you more and more diamonds as well. But other than that, that's pretty much it for right now. So obviously in nine days, we will have the final event that we got from the last PV, which will be the Summoner's event where we are getting overrays for... Which which characters? It was It's Sheena, Clarth, and... Um, who am I forgetting? Who was the uh, who was the final character that's getting one? I actually can't really recall. Uh, is there anything in the news I can look at to kind of like refresh my memory? Because obviously I'm not gonna go open up the the trailer or anything, but um. Or like the producers are. Either way, long story short, we have a summoners event coming up. And then, oh wait, it was Meredy, right? Was it Meredy? Or was it Keel? It was one of those characters, uh, essentially getting an overay. And then, of course, we are getting the uh, the Ray's original character is going to be playable as well. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you did any summons, let me know how they went. Uh, obviously, we'll be back here in a few days to kind of go over... The Summoner's event, I'll definitely be summoning on that with whatever I can uh, save up in that time because I would love to pull Sheena's Overay. And uh, on that, that's pretty much it. So thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more if you're new to the channel. I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day, everyone.